Viking King Arvindil returns to his village following a successful raid. He celebrates his victory in the Great Hall, drinking with his wife Queen Gudrun and his son Amlet. Arvindil contemplates his mortality in the after party and decides it is time his son becomes a man. He takes him to a shaman where the transformation is completed around a fire. The following morning, Amlet is walking with his father in the forest when his uncle Fiona ambushes them. He cuts off the head of Arvindil and takes the crown and Amlet's mother for himself. Amlet escapes, vows vengeance, and promises to rescue his mum. Fast forward years later, Amlet is now a cold blooded warrior who dances around campfires and headdresses and leads raiding parties. He overhears his uncle Fiona has been overthrown and is now living in Iceland. He sneaks onto a boat with a batch of captives headed for his uncle's colony. Here he meets prisoner and future flame Olga. Amlet does menial work in his uncle's village while he plots his revenge. He fights a sword wielding skeleton, spreads terror by killing the soldiers, and manages to sleep with Olga in between. His plan comes undone when he tries to rescue his mum. She reveals she wanted him dead, she's happy with Fiona. Amlet rages, tries to kill Fiona, but is taken captive. He is rescued by a flock of crows, hides out in the Icelandic wilderness with Olga, contemplates giving up his revenge and sailing away with his now pregnant love. Amlet has a change of heart at the last minute and abandons Olga to fulfill his vengeance. He kills his mother, slays her young son, and challenges Fiona to a battle to the death at a volcano. Both men kill each other at the same time. The end.